Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 28 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, I made it back to Township and I made sure that all three of my partners were killed off and used up all their AP. That way I can make good use of Barrows over here. I like to teach magic to those with as little AP as possible. Bo, are you a person with little AP? Now you have to make sure you have zero AP. Not even one or two will do. So in other words, you have to make sure you use enough AP and the right kind of spells to make sure you're reduced to zero. You like people with as little HP as possible? Do you really need your characters beyond death to learn magic? Yes, I have little HP. In fact, you have to make sure they have one HP remaining. So you have to go to a Dragon God statue, go to change, and whatever characters have zero HP will be down to just one. He won't actually teach anyone zero HP, believe it or not. Okay, freeze magic? No. Sadly, you have to keep repeating this until that Dragon Tear over there is a nice color. The nicer the color, the better the spell you get. Freeze is something I don't want to learn. The best spell you can learn is Missile. That's what I'm looking for. Flame Magic, that's not good enough either. Now the thing is, as far as Nina goes, she can already learn Missile. That's the good news. The bad news is she learns it in level 50s. So if I were you, you might as well teach her Missile now. Missile magic... Yes, teach it to Bo. Now, Missile costs like over 20 odd AP. I think it's around 26. But it's a very good spell that targets all enemies. I consider that pretty damn powerful. Unfortunately, it gets quite tedious, so I'll let you know when I'm done with Nina and Spar too. Okay, I'm back. Nina and Spar now have Missile, which is pretty good. I can teach Missile to one more character, but I'm going to save that for later. It's probably going to be Rand or Jean. There are the better choices that's left. Okay, let me go back to the Shamans now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the Sten Unity. Which is good. Now he's back to normal. Now I'm going to unite Sten with Santa. And I'm going to use Spoo, too. Fire and Wind, put them together. Now watch what happens. Now Sten transforms! Oh, look at yourself! Great success indeed! Now he looks like some kind of wizard fire monkey. Oh my god, that character portrait is so awesome. He now has like 69 AP, so his AP goes up pretty high too. Okay, let me go back in the house so we can go to full AP. There, so now I have two characters that are transformed thanks to shamans. This is what I consider pretty powerful. Not to mention one of them has missile. Quite a valuable asset. Okay, before I head back to Farmtown, why don't I actually go to Guns? Seems I have plenty of money, I might as well put it to good use. Thank God I went there at least once. Down to the weapons store. You know, those people kind of remind me of Ox from Breath of Fire 1. Brass sword? No. Blinded armor? Ooh, that looks pretty good. Blinded shield? Okay. Uh, you know, I'll just hold on to the ice shield for now. Blinded mail. Look at this. And this. And we're good. Okay. I think I might as well stick to that for now. I'll probably explore the rest of Guns later. Because, you know, I'll probably head, head back at some point, but I'm in no rush to explore it now. 
Okay, now let's head to Farm Town to continue the story. Remember, you gotta make sure Rand's in your party. Considering he, well, is obviously important to this place. You know, I'm really glad they call this place Farm Town and not Farmville. That makes me very happy. Oh, it's locked. Huh, guess I'll just have to go to the inn or use the time warp spell. There. Let me go upstairs, take a look around. Let's see what I can steal. Oh, help bottle. Nice. I like that. And there's nothing. What a cheap place. I am very disappointed. Okay, I'm gonna have Rand out in front. Hey, is that you, Rand? When did you get back? Uh, just now in the previous video? Didn't you watch it? Alright, you probably don't have computers in Farm Town. I am disappointed. Okay, I got a whole lot of extracts, so why don't I store them for now? Seeing as how I don't see myself using them, a good idea to get them out of the way. Especially the tollen and the herb, because that's not going to be put to use. A lot of crap I can get rid of. Wait a minute, that northern dagger. I can probably keep that. Gold I can get out of the way. I forgot to see if Sten could equip this. I want to check that first. I still think he looks awesome. He's almost like royalty, for crying out loud. Luck decreases, but offense goes up. And that's good enough for me. Yep, that's good. Let me check the items. What do you got for sale? Okay, you're selling fishing equipment. At least you care about that. At least you care about your fishery to sell bait. You didn't like the city after all. <laughs> it was just Corsair. How was work? Anything interesting happen? Well, you know that organizer of the uh, fight club turned into a demon on uh, that. Nothing interesting happened. Well, I already talked to you. Okay, now that's one big ass house. You gotta have like three entrances, really? Come on now. Get out, you worthless rascal! What? Uh, somebody's not happy. Oh, Daisy! Please calm down. We just want to build a church. Shut up! I only believe in Saint Amanda! Why would I let you build a church? Uh, yeah, that's how you kick out a Jehovah's Witness, or whoever that is. Huff! Who the hell is that crazy lady? Gosh, she's not related to anyone here. That would be quite a disaster. I might as well steal some shit from her house. Yep, she got nothing. Wait, did I... I don't think I went in this door. Hi, I'm home. How? What? What are you doing? Shut up, you dumb kid. What do you mean, I'm home? Oh my god, that better not be your mom. Wandering around at your age. Where were you? And what were you doing? I... I went out for work, Mom. Jeez, somebody's pissed. Work? If you won't work, why don't you stay in this village and plow the fields? Now that you're back, I expect you to plow the fields. Mom... Uh -oh. You guys can help. Go to work. We'll start tomorrow. Uh, I, I better get paid for this, you know. I don't work for free. Now, now. Plow and clean up the rugged land right outside of here. Uh. Get going. If you work too slow, I won't feed you. Uh, this better be illegal, you know. Let's just walk around in a circle, and then we'll just go out. 
plow the fields. Yes, this is an actual enemy encounter. Bush. And that's actually pretty cool what Sten does for an attack. If I were you, I would not use your magic at all. It would be a big waste of time. Good thing I was doing massive level grinding. Almost every one of my party is close to level 30. Rand managed to learn heal, which is pretty good. That should be very helpful. A stone. This has got to be the weirdest minigame ever. It's like to plow the fields, you actually have to fight this stuff. Jeez, if Rand was plowing the fields the whole time, like actually was plowing the fields for a longer time, I'm pretty sure he would have single-handedly beat August by himself. He wasn't that great of a level before. If he actually stuck around, he'd be a lot stronger. I mean, you gain experience points here. Can you imagine how retarded that would be if you beat up a stump or a bush of grass, gained a level, and learned a very powerful spell? Oh look, I learned to shoot missiles out of my hands just by beating up a tree! How does that work? Seriously now? I mean, if I slash a horse in the ass, all of a sudden I'm a great swordsman in Skyrim? This is, this is very weird. And this is all you do, really. This is how you plow the fields. It's like all four of us stand in a square formation, and we just hack and slash at pretty much anything on the fields. Like, we don't just circle around it just to pull it together or take an axe to chop it up. No, no, we have to stand in a square formation. And we have to go one at a time <laughs> just to take this out. Man, just imagine if it was like this in real life. We would have a very massive food shortage because everybody would be taking turns one at a time. Plowing the corn, it's just crazy. Here, just one last rock, let's take care of it. What the? Uh, mom, one of those rocks is alive! Yeah, a stone golem. A boss, when it comes to plowing the fields. This is ridiculous. Sparrow, why don't you try testing out that missile spell? It might come in handy. Wow, that's a lot of cinematics for a 26 AP spell. Mom, I'm gonna use a dragon to plow the fields, okay? <laughs> Mom, I'm gonna use an earthquake spell! Hope you don't mind the holes around the fields. And look, the holes are still there! This is crazy! Oh my god! Here, let me use another missile spell. Expert labor for the win! There, we win! Eh, you don't have to pay us, Mom! We got some money from that rock over there! That rock was packing gold. That's it. Good boy. I'll plant something in the land you plowed. Yeah, just watch out for the potholes I created with that 8.0 spell. Yeah, you might want to watch out for that. I'm sorry to make you do this. She is so stubborn. If we help a little more, I'm sure she'll feel better. About to fight more rocks. That was actually quite fun. Where is she anyway? Eh, I might as well steal over here. Oh, it's a plate. Okay, what does a plate do? Let me go check. Plate, plate. Eh, I don't see it anywhere. Protective shield. Really? And it has crappy defense value to boot. 
And he's like, look, I'm just using a dinner plate to block an attack. Come at me, demon, I have myself a spoon. Hey, what's up, Ma? I'll take care of this land. Go west in Amanda and play for a good pray for a good harvest. Did I just practice English there that I use an L sound instead of an R? Go play to Amanda. <laughs> play for a good harvest, yeah. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna have to save the game. Alright, let's go. Let's head over west to Amanda. Actually, I think it'd be a good idea to bring in Jean temporarily. There we go. Seems how we are going to have to go over a bit of land. Let's put that to good use. Actually, I don't think I'd change your equipment in a good while either. I need to. Yeah, you can have the white shield. I'm not giving you the plate, that's for sure. In battle, you suck enough. Ah, this must be Amanda right over here. Huh, what's this place? Ah, it must be a hut. Amanda is the god of earth and crops, the agriculture god. Oh, a god dedicated to crops. Okay, so Amanda must be some kind of pagan god of some sorts. Interesting. This is Amanda, a place dedicated to the god of the earth and crops. Yeah, that's real nice, really interesting. To pray for a good harvest? I see. Thank. Please proceed. Much appreciated, Krillin. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Pray for a good harvest? I see. Oh, you're gonna say the same thing. Um... That's not right. Okay, these enemies are virtually the same. Except we fought before. In completely different areas, mind you. So, yeah. This will not be a difficult fight at all. Too bad we didn't run into any new enemies here. Probably will. I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> Defense up X, really? Great, so this battle could take a little longer. Oh well. Damn it, it counters. Ah, oh, so close. Much better. Hey, you need some help there? Oh! It's also training to fight off monsters like this! Yeah! Yeah, I think I'll leave that to you. Okay, let's go! Okay, are there any monsters here? No, there isn't. We ring this bell when it's time for prayer. Oh, it's almost time! That does not look easy. In fact, you will have to recreate that beat, eventually. You don't have to, but you'll get a good spell out of it. They're actually resting on flames. Those monks are badass. Amanda, Amanda. You guys are crazy. The teachings of St. Eva are not wrong, but they should have training. Well, they train in taking donations. If that's training enough. That one's actually taking a shower. That's real interesting. Whoever that's Saint Eva. No wait, Saint Amanda. There's some pretty awesome practices. Okay, moving on. Let's continue. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Didn't really get that far. Okay, this must be where I donate. Yeah, I'll donate 100 coins. Now, the thing is, you're going to have to actually donate 2,000 coins. That's four, five, 
six. And one last one for good measure. I think that was well over 20, but I just wanted to be 100% sure. I hate to feel like I lost count and like shortchanged it by just 100 coins. Now, why you have to donate 2,000 coins? It's not really that clear, but you will find out much later. Trust me on this one, it's worth it. Okay, I donated almost my entire life savings to a pagan god. I should be very proud of myself. Okay, let's go back to this party. I like this party. There. Fully rested. Let's go see Daisy, see how she's doing. I might as well put Rand in front again. <sighs> Nothing new. I see. Wait a minute, there's somebody out in the fields. It's probably that same guy from earlier. I'm gonna go check it out. Hey, uh, did you beat up any good grass lately? Ah, uh, Rand. This is a letter from Daisy. I am having the Eva Church built here. I am going to the Grand Church. May the light of St. Eva be with you. It is no doubt Daisy's handwriting. What? Daisy understands how now how wonderful the Eva Church is. And that's why we are building the church here. Wait a minute, Mom doesn't use red text in her penmanship. No way. There's no way that my mother would believe in a religion like yours. What have you done to her? Please stop accusing us. Otherwise the screen will get blacker for no reason whatsoever. Daisy became a believer of St. Eva, that's all. Or do you have proof that we did something? You... <laughs> Who needs proof? Violence is the answer. Unfortunately, Rand has to fight by himself. Damn it, he just used shield. Well, I think shield only works in increasing wisdom and magic defense, pretty much. Well, that's what wisdom is, magic attack and magic defense. It doesn't do anything for physical defense. So you can just have at it. You, a paladin? I am not impressed. And this is all you do, is just one big slugfest out in farmland. Man, if Farmville was like this, I'm pretty sure I would be addicted to it. Oh, Father Ray! These people are being difficult. What? You're the ones taking over someone else's land! I have been told that Daisy donated this land after identifying with the teachings of St. Eva. That's right, and this man is mistaken. Mistaken? You have a lot of nerve! Stop it! I have a responsibility to protect the believers of our church. If you continue to act this way, you will have to deal with me. Uh, at least you gave one of us a renew spell. Interesting. You're just another servant to a dumb god. Saint Eva is not a dumb god. Someday, you will also understand. Well, I don't understand. I don't want to understand. Now get off my mother's land! Or you can plow the fields the next day. Just don't take any experience for it. I don't intend to continue with this misunderstanding. However, someday, we will understand each other. Something doesn't seem right. You go as guys know my mother isn't the type of person to change her mind just like that, right? Do you think that Eva Church people took her by force? Okay, if you want to be on good terms with Rand even more so, say yes. You agree? We've got to check them out. And their headquarters. And about St. Eva Church. I think St. Eva Church is the problem. The churches in the other towns are being deceived. Don't you think so? Huh, that stem's gonna look the other way too. But, 
I haven't thought about how to get there. Now, what can we do? If we could fly, it would be easy. Fly, eh? Something tells me that's gonna be very, 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 very important later. You just gotta think about the methods to do so. The Grand Church is on the other side of the East Ocean, right? There seems to be no way to get there unless you can fly. I see. I wonder how the Eva Church people cross the ocean. They don't have wings like the people of Windia. Windia! Ah, that seems like a good clue. If we work hard on the garden, our prayers will be heard. Heave ho! Um, that, that guy's talking to you, you know. You better heave now. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop the video right here. And then next part, we'll head over to Windia to check things out. Whoa! Apparently we got new music now! So we're very close to, like, the near end of the game. So let's get to it in the next part. Goodbye, everyone.